efforts towards getting children back in the classroom, some families are grappling with the changes and anxieties this can bring. Joining us now is Ken Dolan Del Vecchio, the author of Simple Habits of Exceptional But Not Perfect Parents, with some tips to help kids prepare for in-person learning. Hi there, Ken. Hey, Alana, how are you? Wonderful. So nice to see you, as always. Great to see you as well. Ken so, so the way that I think about this right now is that grief is our new normal. We have these rolling losses through the pandemic and uncertainties. And so it's just important to keep that in mind that where our nerves may be completely frayed, our mood may be up and down, our ability to concentrate may be withered to, to almost a breaking point. And with this new change, it's great, it's auspicious that things are moving toward the right direction but it's another layer of stress getting ready for this change of having the kids go back to school and there's a lot of questions around it so important to just keep all that in mind yes we're not at our best and it's important to manage the uncertainty especially when it comes to our children what should we do to help everybody prepare well one of the things i i like to stress in these kinds of circumstances is that the antidote to fear is information and so we should get as much information as we need to feel comfortable. And so we need to be talking to the school, looking at their website, learning exactly what the protocols are for a return to work, given our child or our children's age and, and level. We need to be looking at if they're gonna take the bus, are there special things that have to be attended to for that? So for example, sometimes little kids need to wear a mask on the bus, but not when they're in school. And all of this needs to be clear for the parent. And I, and I just can't stress enough, get your questions answered. Don't hesitate to reach out, to call the school, to, to just make yourself heard if you need questions answered, because that's the way you're gonna gain a higher degree of comfort with all that needs to happen with this transition. Now, um, kids also might be apprehensive about returning to work. All this time at home and all this information about COVID is very scary to a lot of them. What can we do to help create a plan for our children that makes them feel safe? Well, first of all, we, we gotta listen to them. All of that is really valid. So we wanna hear what our kids say. We wanna hear what their fears and concerns are. We wanna, we wanna reply to them with reality-based information in an age appropriate way. And so we can tell them things like, children are in fact much less likely to get ill with this virus. And, and that might be soothing for kids. And that the schools are doing all that can possibly be done. And also to help them to understand their role in this, that they need to keep whatever distance, it may be a meter, it may be, it may be six feet, when they're in the classroom, when they're in the lunchroom, just so that they are as informed as they can be as well. And, and I can't stress enough, you need, to, you need to talk with each other as co-parents, if it's not a single family home, if there are other adults who are parenting or in parenting positions, there needs to be a real sense of togetherness in this and shared understanding. And so a lot of talking, I think a lot of talking and even more listening, even more listening, validating, supporting, and and also the government makes available through the Centers for Disease Control, the CDC site, there's a great resource there that has lots of information for parents on returning to school. And I would highly recommend that people access it. Maybe that's something you can put in the information that's attached to the, the video. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Now, Ken, what can we do at home and as families to help manage anxieties that might pop up? Well, you know, the, the same things that we, that we always do, hopefully, right, hopefully. So make time for getting enough rest. Make time for doing exercise or stretching. Make time for getting outdoors safely. And all of the things that we, we can best do to help ourselves when we're feeling stressed are the same things that tend to fly out the window because we feel pressure to focus on that which is causing us to feel stress. But it's really important to try to take care of yourself. And also to keep in mind that as a parent, you're always a role model. So in doing that, 
you are also providing your kids with some guidance on the importance of taking care of themselves as well. It's always key to having your best possible health and resilience in whatever circumstance we find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ken Dolan Del Vecchio, author, thank you so much for joining me. Excellent tips as always. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.